folks over at Mozilla have been busy working on the latest update to Firefox. And right now you can update the app to version 92.0. This update was first released yesterday on the 7th, but we'll be seeing more people in the community downloading the update over the next couple of days. So I wanted to take this video and show you all of the changes that have happened in the latest version of Mozilla Firefox for Android. And while we are not seeing many changes to the user interface of Firefox in this update, the biggest new addition to the popular web browser is the added support for the web authentication API. So with this new addition, Firefox can now accept USB tokens for website authentication. For example, this means that we can now use either a USB or Bluetooth security keys whenever we want to log into supported websites. The company has also been able to fix a widespread bug that caused a crash with the Firefox application if you tried to disconnect from your Mozilla account. So that is a nice new change. They were also able to fix a crash that happened whenever navigating back to the settings menu after you have disabled studies. The company was also able to fix a number of security related issues. I'll be linking to these security patches in the video description. For those who may want a little more of a deep dive into the security patches that were included in this update to Firefox version 92. This update also brought a number of changes that are specific to developers. We've had a number of removals in regards to CSS, a couple in regards to JavaScript and one for both APIs and DOM. And again, just like for the security patches, I'll be including a link in the video description for those who want to check out these changes for developers. So those are all the details for the latest update of Firefox for Android that brings this web browser up to version 92.0. And again, you should be seeing this update rolling out through the Google Play Store over the next couple of days. Or you could manually update the application via sideload.